Happy Sunday. I hope that you all are doing well. I am so excited to be back with you all. Um, for those of you who may be new, I took off the entire month, I think, of um, March. I was in the middle of filming a video that I had gone to Whole Foods and I just decided to um, press pause and I feel so refreshed and rejuvenated and so I'm just excited to be back with you all. So this week, I actually went to Kroger. We went to Martinsville, Virginia yesterday to go to the Natural Science Museum and it was so much fun. Really, really recommend doing that. And while I was there, I saw that there was a Kroger and so I went and that was really fun. Um, then I went to Publix and to Harris Teeter. So I have a lot of great deals that I'm really excited to share with you all. And, but before I do that, <laughs> let me share our meal plan. So some of this are, um, some of these are things that we've already had because my meal plan starts um, before I went grocery shopping. <laughs> and then a couple items is what's to come. Um, so we had tacos one night, pizza, then I found a new recipe, um, a Supa Toscana by Budget Bites. And I've tried a couple of her recipes and I really, really like them and they really are budget friendly. So I'm excited to um, do that one. And I'm gonna make some French bread and we'll have a salad with that. And then I'm gonna do a pot pie soup and I'm gonna make some biscuits to go along with that. And then I'm gonna have red pepper pasta with um, green beans and hopefully French bread <laughs> if there's a loaf left. Um, and then we're gonna have asparagus tart. I saw this on Sweeter Than Oats. Her website is new to me, but I saw um, Acre Homestead make this asparagus uh, asparagus tart and it looked really beautiful. And so I think I want to give that a try. And I'm just going to have that along with some um, roasted potatoes and carrots. So fairly simple. Um, so I'm excited about the meals and especially trying new recipes. That's always fun. But let's get into this haul. Here's everything that I picked up from Kroger. So I had two things of the extra firm tofu and these were $1.69. I got two of these own plant-based protein shakes. I really love these and they have 32 grams of protein, which is really awesome. So I got the vanilla and I got the chocolate. I really love to have these on hand um, whenever we're traveling or if we're going like hiking and stuff like that. They're just a perfect snack to have on hand. And, well, I say snack, but I guess they really can be like a complete meal with 32 grams of protein. My husband wanted some um, lower sodium soy sauce. So we got that. Got these huge pineapples. These are $2.50 each, but oh my goodness, they are massive and they smell good. Alexandra got two mango. These were $1.25 each. <clears throat> this was the only verb um, energy bar energy bar <laughs> that I could find, or the only flavor, but it's chocolate and sea salt. And these were on sale for $1.25. And then I had a dollar back for each one on Ibotta, so it made them just 25 cents each, which honestly, like, they are so tiny, if you can see that. So, I mean, 25 cents is really all I think it's worth. I mean, they're very, very small, but I think they'll be yummy. Um, my husband really loves rag ragu, and so whenever we saw this seal, we decided to go ahead and get five of these. And they were $1.99, but then I had a 50 cent digital that said you could use it five times, so we just went ahead and maxed that out. These beautiful strawberries, and it's two pounds, these were $2.99, and I mean, they are absolutely beautiful, and they smell amazing. I have not been able to find um, too many organic strawberries this year that just look really good, but I found out that if you soak your produce and baking soda is supposed to help like remove some of the pesticides and so that's what um i've been doing but these actually did not ring up at the right price they rang up at 629 so i had to get a refund so always pays to check your receipt but they were supposed to be 299 so i was able to get the difference and then i got these sweet caramel frozen um dessert bars these were just regular price 449 and I think you got three, yep, in each one. And we had gone to Burger King for lunch, and so we just went and picked these up 
along with the rest of our things to have for a little snack afterwards. And Carter loves the cocoa meals, and so anytime we are at a store that has some, <laughs> he has to have them. And I think these were $4.99. And this is a refund that I got $13.20 for being overpriced for the strawberries. Let me share my receipt with you all. So there are the energy bars, and those are the Driscoll strawberries that were supposed to be $2.99, and they ran up $6.29. There's more energy bars than the Ragu. There are the own shakes for $4.99, and their regular price $9.99. So that was a really great um, digital coupon. And there's the cocoa meals and the mangoes and the pineapple, the tofu and the ice cream. Oh, and I also had an $8 off when you spend um, 60. So everything came up to 6801. And then I got back two cents from Maryfield and two cents from Fetch. 1320 in the refund. And then I got four dollars from my bada for the verb. So I got back $17.24. Um, making all of these items $50.77. Which I mean the strawberries. <laughs> I mean four things was this two four yeah, eight pounds of strawberries, like, mm, so excited for those in the pineapple and the mango. So, yep, very, very happy with this so haul. here's everything that I picked up from Publix this week. So, I got some of the Nature's Own Perfectly Crafted Bread. This was Boca. I got some asparagus. This was $2.99 a pound, so I think it ended up being like $3.14. I got these, um, it's from the ground up but they're cinnamon churro puffs and we've tried these before they were $1.99 so I picked up a bag of those the Nasoya dumplings are on sale for $3.50 yep so I got two packs of those got some mushrooms for three dollars the green giant rice veggies were on sale for $2.50 and then there was a blankie right in front of the product for a dollar off of one so it made it just a dollar fifty um, for the bag and this is just the cauliflower and broccoli. Some of them have like a sauce and stuff on them, but this one does not. So I'm really excited to make this my own. I got some smoked paprika. I think this was $3.75. And then there was a dollar um, coupon like blinky right in front of it. And so it was $2.75 for the Simply Organic. And they have a lot of different spices on sale BOGO this week. Um, but the coupon works on all of them. And then I got some cannellini beans. I have been unable, or I haven't been able <laughs> to find um, any dry cannellini beans. So I picked these up. They were on sale for a dollar, but I'm planning to make a pot pie soup. So I wanted those for that. And then the Elmhurst, the milks were on sale too. So I'm guessing all the Elmhurst products are on BOGO. But I've been wanting to try the sour cream. And so this was like $3.00. So hopefully it's good, but it doesn't go out until August. So, But Elmhurst products are pretty clean, so I'm excited to try this. I got these um, Rebel drink. It's a truly tropical. It's got pineapple and mango, and it also has coconut water. And I think this is just going to be really yummy with some coconut milk um, to make me sort of like a little pina colada. So... I'm excited to try this, but it was BOGO, and then I had a dollar digital, so it made it like a dollar um, fifty, I think. Then I got some gold potatoes. They were $3.99 for a five pound bag, and I got some bananas. And then I saw these um, Greenwise non-dairy vegetable burritos. This one is with a yellow pepper sauce, and this one is with a citrus chili sauce. So all of their burritos were on sale for just a dollar 25 although it didn't ring up at that price and so i was on self checkout and so luckily i caught it and um so she just went ahead and corrected the price for me but i thought this would be a really quick and easy um lunch and i'm excited to try the sauces on it and see um what i think about it so sometimes it's just sort of nice to browse and get different ideas for lunches or dinner in the frozen now that you might want to make yourself so i'm gonna try this and then Try to recreate it if I like it. <laughs> so here is my receipt. And it was 37. Yep. 
it was 37 even and then i got back 37 cent from maryfield and two cent from um fetch so a little more than 36 bucks for everything so here's everything that i picked up at harris teeter so i actually just went into harris teeter to see what was on the produce um cart and to see what they had on clearance and i found some really other great deals so i'm excited to share those with you all so i got these little cucumbers that i like they were just a dollar then i got the four apples they were on the cart and i think they were a dollar 57 and then the squash and zucchini they were a dollar 94 i think and then these beautiful tomatoes here it looks like there's one a little messed up but it's okay um these were a dollar 99 then the impossible beef so it looks like they have changed their packaging it's now like red instead of it was this color before um but this was eight dollars and then it had the produce coupon so <clears throat> that made it five and then also had a two dollar digital i think so it made it three dollars the pistachios were buy one get one free so they were three dollars for this package and i love pistachios <laughs> so i decided to pick those up the country crock plant cream was on sale for 2.99 and I had a dollar twenty-five back on um, Shop Me on sale. It made it a dollar seventy-four. And I saw um, the Korean vegan make this strawberry sandwich. I think it was sometime last year, maybe even the year before. I don't remember. Um, but it was like whipped cream and strawberries, and it was just so beautiful. And I have so many strawberries. I thought that I would give that a try with this plant cream. So I'm gonna do that. Then this clean cult. And this is a wild lavender all-purpose um, cleaner and it says it's two refills but this is regular price like ten dollars but it was buy one get one free so five dollars and then i have four dollars back on ibotta so i made it just 99 cent and it says it's a clear liquid formula and here's all the things that it does not have in it so it seems to be pretty clean and um you can use it in their bottle of course you can use any bottle and so I'm just really excited to give this a try. I've used their um, uh, hand, no dish soap before. And the lavender was very mild. It wasn't overpowering. So I'm excited to give this a try to see what I think, especially for 99 cents. Um, the Starry was on sale for, what was it? The 12 pack was on sale for $4. So I think it was buy one, get one free. And then I had no 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 that's not right it was on sale for five dollars so 4.99 um and then i had the four dollar digital coupon so it made it just a dollar for this 12 pack and so this is really great to have on hand um, my husband likes sodas and i think he's finally decided to give coke up <laughs> so he's trying to drink lighter drinks um like sprite and sorry so he'll enjoy that um and then i also got this six pack of starry and this was on sale for what was it four dollars i think no three dollars and i had a two dollar digital so this was also just a dollar for these and then the bubbly i looked for it there was a free digital at Publix, but um the person i spoke with said that they didn't have it that they should have it in this week but when i was in here cedar i noticed it was on evict for 77 cents and then I also had a buy one, get one free digital coupon on my account. So I paid $0.77 cent, um, for the both of these with that buy one, get one free coupon. And then I got back $0.40 cent for each one on Fetch. And then also I had a rebate on Ibotta to get back $0.60 cent for each one. Um, so it was like a dollar and twenty-three cent money maker for these. And one of my sisters, she really likes the sparkling water, so I thought that this would be a nice treat for her. Um, and then when I got the plant cream, it also printed out this coupon for me for a dollar fifty off of two country crop plant items. So I thought that was really nice. And it doesn't expire until June, so that was really awesome. Um, but let me share my deals with you all. So there are those saris and they are just a dollar. Those are really great for, you know, cookout season or gifting to someone, whatever you want to do. I mean, 
it's a really, really great deal. And there's the e-coupon for the impossible. And so you see it was six and then, oh, it was, okay. So it was $6 with the coupon and then $3 with that. So it was $3 for that. Um, so it's $25.54. And then I got back 80 cent from Fetch. And then I got 520 back from Ibotta, $1.20 for the um, bubbly or buble. I can't remember the mic, the commercial. I don't know. <laughs> and then um, $4 for the clean coat. And a dollar twenty-five back from Shopmium. So it made everything here $18.29. And everything for the week so far is $105. 67 so very very happy with everything that i was able to um get this week so i just want to thank you all so much for being here i truly do appreciate your time um i'm excited that you all chose to spend this time with me thank you thank you so much and i hope that you all have an amazing day bye